Nalanda is one of the greatest universities of the world. From 5th century onwards, having such a very big university where students had come from different parts of the world. Nalanda has very old Buddhist tradition. It's a, it was a huge place. The range of the university said to be 10 kilometers. Eight centuries after destruction of ancient Nalanda, re-establishing Nalanda in its second avatar. The first modern university known as Bologna University in Italy, 10th and 11th century. Oxford University in 12th century. Cambridge University in 13th century. Just see, 700 years before that one, you had an international university of greater magnitude here in India. can be termed as uh, the epitome of culture, a soul of uh, our ancient academia. One of the most important curriculum that was taught in Nalanda was Chikitsa Vidya, means medical education. There might have been a hustle and bustle of people in the whole area because in every day there would be hundreds of classes would be there. Various courses were being taught in the university. We had logic, we had astronomy, we had astrology and all other subjects also it were being taught. From the descriptions of Huang Chang, they speak about the huge turrets, four-storied monasteries, Nan storied that astronomical observatory and also about the great university's magnificent library. There were 1,500 teachers. They were all very prominent teachers. There were students from Korea, China, Japan and many other countries. India lost everything, India lost its soul when Nalanda was destroyed. Great and valuable books were there on various aspects of life. All of them were completely destroyed by the people. An archaeological proof is there. After the destruction of Nalanda, Buddhism declined from India. And people forgot about Nalanda University, about Buddha also. This is the biggest ever excavated university in the whole world. It was in 1811, Francis Buchanan and Hamilton. For the first time, he saw the remains of the university, but he did not know that it was a university. It has been completely under earth and the village have been settled on top. On the basis of that, uh, one thing trouble out, Cunningham have started to excavate this place. So the first excavation was in 1872. That was only a very small excavation. And then from 1915 onwards up to 37, the whole temple complex was excavated. The whole monastic portion was excavated. Then from 1974 up to 84 also, a small type of excavation that was taken up. During my tenure, I try to excavate some of the uh, uh, ruins uh, just close to temple number three, archaeological uh, finding of that area. The famous archaeologist Percy Brown created a conjectural uh, drawing of uh, temple number three, this very close to the original one. A number of inscriptions, inscriptions of the kings also, and inscriptions of certain donations have also been excavated from there. And this inscription, they throw remarkable light about the history. Innumerable 
sculptures were excavated from the hall nalanda the sculptures of lord buddha in various form there's a collection of manuscripts and uh, rare manuscripts many of the manuscripts of nalanda have taken to tibet and they translate it into tibetan language some of the manuscripts are donated by his holiness dalai lama and uh, some are from various other monasteries it had a history of 800 years of continuous education and then a gap of 800 years after which nalanda was created or uh, reestablished i'm trying to repurpose nalanda redefine it in today's context basing it to the ancient nalanda uh, nalanda university houses students from 31 countries so it's truly a cultural confluence that happens here this is the administrative block wing 1 we have another wing there uh, the construction we started in 2017 we have about over 80 structures that are ready these are all academic administrative examination centers student uh, uh, facilities classrooms faculty rooms Uh, mini auditorium all these are ready we are complete in every respect it's only the residences that are under construction 70% done uh, i i think we are already a university of future because we are looking at the multipolar world after various upheavals and vicissitudes of history near about 8 almost 800 years the new international university would be again jumping into the hall fray almost like phoenix it was earlier completely destroyed but out of that ashes now the new university will be coming and that would give the message of peace and non violence to the entire globe